um, there can never be a recovery. So the Israeli system, though the Israeli government likes to frame everything that is happening now as a response to October 7th, this is a pre-existing agenda. I mean, these this is the settler movement, um, Ben Gavir, I mean, all of these figures have always wanted Gaza depopulated. They've always wanted to settle Gaza. They've always believed it is part of so-called greater Israel. So does Netanyahu. It's part of their coalition agreement dating back to, to 2022, right, that they want the whole thing, and also the West Bank, by the way. So, you know, I've written before about how states of shock are often exploited very cynically to ram through a pre-existing agenda. And I think that's absolutely what we're seeing. But in order for that to work, the state of shock needs to be continued, heightened. Um, there can never be a recovery. So the Israeli society needs to be um, re-shocked and kept in this kind of trauma loop. And that's what um, this piece about the kind of trauma industry is about. It's about state orchestrated and manipulated trauma. It's it's a memorialization from above, right? Not not from below. Um, for a very specific end. And 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 people in the in the Netanyahu government have been very clear that really what they're doing with the way they are telling the story of October 7th is creating what they call a new national identity. Um, and it's a national identity that uses the trauma of that day to um, cr create a story that fuses um, uh, October 7th with the Holocaust um, and then uses that as the excuse for the genocide that we're seeing right now. and. They're able to rationalize it because within their information bubbles, they are being fed this constant story of their, they, this is what they did to you, um, a whole industry of re-experiencing it. I mean, what I write about in, in this piece is all these immersive so-called memorialization um, kind of technologies. So it's not only people in Israel, but in the diaspora who are encouraged to put on VR goggles and re-experience October 7th as if it happened to them, immersive tunnels where you can go into the Gaza tunnels. It's really an attempt to transfer trauma as far and wide. And in a state of tra trauma, you don't really think. It's pure emotion. It's pure reaction. You can't be analytical. Um, you're not going to be empathetic towards others. You. It's, it's about monsterizing the other and fusing your identity with the people you know, in those houses, at the Nova Music Festival, in the tunnels. It's very deliberate, it's extremely manipulative, and it's how you turn off any compassion or empathy or sense of ethics or morals. And you point out that a number of hostage family members, in response to the state uh, memorializations, as you put it, on October 7th, said, do not use our family ne members' names. We don't want to be a part of this. 